Oh, I hadn't flown a helicopter uh, since like October until this month, and I flew for the first time, and I could not believe how fucking rusty I was. How much just shit you forget? You're like, what? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's right. You know, turn it base, turn it final. I didn't even slow down. I was so busy trying to keep the fucking pad between the compass, you know, and the dashboard there. I can't even remember what the fuck you call it, the control panel, that I forgot I was still doing like 65 knots. And I'm, Wah! I fucking went right by it. I had to slam on the brakes, right? So, but, you know, I flew around, shook, shook off the rust. Oh, he's coming around, he's coming around, you know. So I went, I, I went again yesterday. And I uh, went up with my instructor, and he was like, so what do you want to do? I said, all right, let's do the pattern. Just let's fly the traffic pattern. Let's do some autos. That's where they simulate uh, main rotor failure. That's the big fan above your head. Like, what if all of a sudden the engine cuts out, you know, <clears throat> and the nose kicks left? What do you do? You slam the collective down. You add right pedal, right? Trim airspeed RPM. Here come the RPMs coming up. You pull the collective up. You catch the fucking things. You pick out your spot. So we were doing those. And at some point, I was just like, all right, fuck this. Um, I, I have to fly this thing by myself or solo, as they say in the business, but I'm just a novice. So I said, all right. He goes, well, okay, we did a couple of those. He goes, what do you want to do now? I said, all right, can, uh, can you just step out and let me just fly this thing around one time by myself just to do it again? And he goes, yeah, absolutely. So he steps out. And up until that point, it had been a great day. You know, not a lot of traffic over there. Everything's fucking fine. So he gets out, roll it back up, you know, lights are out, RPMs are in the green, gauges are all green, carburetor heats up, I fucking lift up, light on the skids, bring it up, boom, holding a hover, here we go, here we go, cyclic, way forward, way forward, less weight in the fucking thing, you know, fucking palms are sweating, you know, there's always that thought, I can't believe I actually fucking know how to do this thing, right, so immediately there's a fucking crosswind, so I'm looking at the windsock. I'm like, ah, you fucking cunt. I'm fighting it. Left pedal now. I'm, I'm, I'm facing the wind, so everything's fine. And next thing you know, like fucking like three jet blues are taking off. A Southwest is landing. You know, I made my call, and the guy's like, you know, whatever. Fucking Six Victor Hotel, stand by. And stand by means shut the fuck up. I, I always forget that, because then I always go, Six Victor Hotel, standing by. <laughs> So I'm fucking sitting there. I, I felt like I was in a hover for 20 minutes. What I really wanted to have happen, it was just like one of those things where it's like, all right, fuck this. I'm feeling this. Roll down. Have him step out. I fucking roll back up, lift it off, ask for clearance. He gives it to me, and I just take it for a lap around the airport. That's all I wanted to do. So now I'm fucking sitting in this hover just going, Jesus Christ. Now I'm thinking, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> so finally he called yeah the guy fucking goes six victor hotel uh, left closed traffic uh clear for takeoff clear for takeoff six victor hotel and then i uh i fucking you know took off brought it around and when i was turning crosswind you know i'm looking for traffic to join the downwind make sure i don't have any problems i was actually thinking like you know last night i did stand up dressed as steven adler at the goddamn comedy jam I tried out a new fucking bit about blow-up dolls that was killing so hard, I looked over and Josh Adam Myers was fucking dying laughing on the side of the stage. It's so, as much as you make people laugh, when you look over and you see a fellow comedian dying laughing, you know you're onto something. So then I went back and I got to play Rhinosaur, dressed as Steven Adler, sound, uh, the sound guard. Now, I would have dressed up as Matt Cameron, but he's just, you know, he doesn't have any unique facial hair. He's got that sort of that Luke Skywalker haircut. I just would have looked like me with a stupid wig on, you know? Um, and then I got to play the encore, Paradise City. And I was thinking, I fucking did that. I did stand up and play drums live last night. And right now I am flying a helicopter by myself. <laughs> and I flunked so much shit in high school. Terrible at math. Fucking flunked French, all of that shit. It was a great feeling. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm flying a helicopter. So I get to the downwind, you know, <clears throat> ready to go across three zero. You bring your fucking carburetor heat up. So if your fucking carburetor doesn't freeze over and the engine doesn't cut out. As you're slowing down, came around, still pulling power, kept my 60 knots as I turned the fucking base. 
in the file. Came right in, landed, set the thing down nicely. And uh, then my instructor came back in and he just, you know, plugs his headphones in. He goes, he goes, uh, how did that feel? And I said, ah, you know, I said it was like riding a bike, except you could kill yourself. <laughs> and he started laughing. And what I found with instructors is they're all badass guys. Every one of them. Chicks, they're all fucking badasses, you know. But the second you admit that you're actually scared, they always laugh. And then they usually tell you a story how fucking nervous that they were. But if you're some fucking cocky cunt, um, you don't want to do that. Because then what they're going to do is they're going to chop throttle on you as you're fucking doing some stuff. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't need that. Even though it's good training. I've never had anybody do that to me. Um, but anyway, so I did it. And it made me feel uh, it's fucking amazing, man. It's just like the sickest goddamn feeling. And I swear to God, all I need to do is make like another $40 million. And I think I could actually afford to truly engage in that hobby. <laughs> I, in L.A., it's just super expensive. I think if you live more in the middle of nowhere, the big fucking thing is like just storing the goddamn whatever you get, the plane or the helicopter. Um, I don't know if anybody knows like a cheap way to do it. I would absolutely, uh, I'd absolutely do it. But until then, I'm just treating it like the way I treat cars. Like I just go on the road, you know, I go to budget and then that's it. I just, whatever fucking car they give me, I get it. And I got to be honest with you. I, I, that's the one thing that bugs me about renting helicopters is every time you fucking go in there, it, it, something's a little different. You know, it would just be nice to know your fucking tail number, not have to fucking constantly be looking on the control panel, know where everything is, know how everything works. Every radio seems to be a little bit different. It's just like a fucking, it's just that extra thing you got to like deal with that I wish um, I didn't. And I'd love to just buy one of those fucking R22s. You know, they're fun as hell. They're just a little fucking two-seater, right? And you're really flying it. It's like if you had a car that just had drum brakes and no power steering, like you really fucking... You know, our whole now. This is just what I've heard from other pilots because I've never flown anything fancy, nothing fancy like. Um, but I really fucking enjoyed it, and uh, just even doing that. I mean, that how long it takes to fly the pattern. Um, I mean, that couldn't have been more than like felt like ninety seconds. It probably maybe it was a little bit longer. I don't know, but uh, I don't know. It's just fucking definitely left the place yesterday. You know, that's one of those things where you, you did something great and you're driving away and you got the window down, just driving away going, woo! <laughs> Helicopter. Um, okay. Hey there, Billy Bald the Wise. Uh, Billy Bald the Wise. I always feel like this. I should be figuring out what the fuck that means. Bald the Wise. The Wise. Is that another English word kind of? Billy Bald the Wise. Is that like a, a character? I don't know. Anyways, just wanted to hear your thoughts on the new Mission Impossible film. I have to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm seeing three movies this week. I'm seeing the Mr. Rogers movie. I'm seeing Eighth Grade. And I'm seeing uh, Mission Impossible. All right, so I'm seeing something from my childhood. I'm seeing how millennials deal with being in the eighth grade. And then I'm just watching a big summer blockbuster. So I feel like I'm, I got a nice fucking, you know, smorgasbord of what the fuck's going on out there. All right, just want to hear your thoughts on the new Mission Impossible and how Tom Cruise is notorious for doing his own stunts. Do people understand what the word notorious means? That That's like, uh, that's basically known usually for a bad thing. Um, I'd say he's famous for doing his own stunts. I feel like a lot of people don't know what infamous and notorious means. Uh, anyways, I read he learned how to fly a helicopter in about three months for the film as a pilot yourself, that seems like a short amount of time for someone to do the action sequence and stunt work that was displayed. Check out the link below. Uh, thanks and go fuck yourself. Well, I think there's uh, – there, there, there is a lot of – look, they're trying to sell a movie. So whatever he did, they're going to they're gonna shrink it down. Um, but I don't care how long or how short um, – the amount of time he did what he did took an unbelievable amount of fucking balls. And, uh, I was talking to some director. He goes, I can tell you without a doubt, they definitely shot that shit on the last day. 
meaning if he killed himself, that they, they could easily put a stuntman in there and they would still have a movie. I don't know. Um, I, I've just only seen the movie clip, and, but there is no fucking way ever in my piloting career would I ever do anything like that. Ever. <laughs> That's all I can fucking tell you. No fucking way. Um, I like to live. You know, that's my shit. And uh, I don't have a problem with stuntmen. I really don't. You know, I don't want to see them act and they don't want to see me jump in front of a fucking moving car. And I, I stay out of their lane. I like how I'm acting like I'm at Tom Cruise's level. I just like that shit where you jump from one building to another and they kept it in the film and he like broke his foot or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's like. Like Jackie Chan does shit like that, and then then Tom takes it to the next level where he's he's like, was well, he? As far as I can tell, you essentially just nosed the helicopter over and just was flying straight down at the earth while spinning. I believe added that to it, uh, which I really believe is hard enough to do in a fucking airplane. Forget about it in a helicopter. Like I don't understand. Um, I don't know how that works, but uh, you know. Hats off to that guy. That guy is, and he can also fly like a like a fucking jet, like a G five, like just get in the thing and fly to England. Like I believe he's that level of a uh, pilot. Um, I would tell you though, I would definitely rather fly with John Travolta because it seems like you know he dresses up like the captain and he just you know straight and level, and just sort of flies. <laughs> Where I feel like Tom Cruise would be like, oh shit, look at that, and he would just do a fucking barrel roll just to scare you so he can laugh at you. I remember him a long time ago telling a story on fucking Letterman where they, they, they were up front and they thought it was funny and they depressurized the cabin and they made the guy in the back pass out. They didn't like 100%, but they somehow made the, the oxygen, I don't know, the mixture of it. I don't know if there was too much oxygen, so he fucking overloaded on it and got lightheaded and passed out. Um. Uh, I don't know, but all I remember, he was crying, laughing when he said it. And I was like, yeah, that guy's fucking, guy's nuts. Uh, but I, I'm definitely going to see the movie. And I'm a huge Tom Cruise fan. I, and uh, I didn't, you know, he's one of those guys, I didn't realize how big a fan I was until one day they listed all his movies. And I realized I saw like 80% of them. Um, that's kind of like when you go to, somebody drags you to a concert. You're like, I don't want I, yeah, I mean, I know who they are. I, I, I mean, I'm a radio fan of them. And then you get there and you're like, oh, fuck, they sing this song too? Oh, my God, dude, these people, they're fucking awesome. Next thing you know, you come home, you're downloading all their music. That's what Tom Cruise is like. Well, I can't wait to see the movie. Uh, it's perfect. It's got Tom Cruise. It's got helicopters. And they shot a lot of it in, in Paris. I mean, I'm in. It's over. Um, 